video I'm going over the difference between a $5, a $15, and a $40 fingerboard quarter pipe. Let's get started. So first off, this is the $5 quarter pipe. You can, it's a Tech Deck quarter pipe. It's plastic. It's hollow. And if you don't have it stuck down, it flips over very easy. And it does not have a deck. It just has this little thing right here. And it has plastic coping that sticks out. And it's very skinny compared to the width of a fingerboard. Now on to the $15 quarter pipe for its initial overview. It does have a better um, smooth transition onto the ground. It's kind of the same plasticky material. This one is 3D printed. It is a little, it's still hollow. It's a little bit shorter than the other one. And it does not have coping. So you can also use this as a launch ramp and launch out of it. And it has a slight decking, not enough to ride on, but you can kind of grind on it more, do slides. And yes, this one would still flip over, but if you stick it down, it does not flip over. And this one is very nice. And it's wide enough to use comfortably. Now for the $40 one, this one is made out of wood. Um, it has like wooden bottom feet. It's very flush with the ground for being wood. You don't really need to stick it down, but I do, just so I don't knock it off my desk. It has coping made out of, like, marble bricks. The wood is very smooth. It has a wood burned in the logo. It has a deck that is wide enough to fingerboard on. You can roll your fingerboard across this. And it is very wide compared to the fingerboard. And it is about as tall as the $5 ramp. As you can see here, the $5 ramp is a little bit taller. Now, if I had to get one of these ramps, what would I buy? Now, personally, I would definitely say I would get this ramp just because it's wooden, it has nice coping, it's very wide, very fun. One of my most used ramps right here. But I definitely would not buy this ramp. Um, maybe as a starter ramp but you can almost make something better than this for cheaper um it's not very fun to use i mean you can go up it and kind of do some stuff and i mean it's it's kind of even hard to just go up into a grind because like i mean look your fingerboard barely fits on it like if you're off just a little bit you're gonna fall off either side right so it's pretty tough now this one it's pretty good for $15, the teak tuning one, because, I mean, it doesn't have coping. You can still do grinds on it pretty easy, and you can launch out of it nice. It's wide enough to be able to actually, like, do, like, some tricks on, like, right there. And it does slide pretty good. And this is a pretty solid one for only 15 bucks. But, I mean, this one just tops it because... I mean, it's big, it's got nice coping, it's made out of wood, it's a good size to fingerboard on, and it's very flush right here. And, I mean, you pay for what you get in most things, and in this case, it is also true. So, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video.